Air conditioner running as a heater at the moment because it was freezing cold. Microwave at the same time. Air conditioner running. G'day guys, Manny Extreme Auto Caravan Camping. 24 volt monster. This one's huge. <laughs> I'm like really excited about this one. So, um, excuse the uh, blank for a moment there. I just had to think about the uh, size of this setup. So this battery bank, right? This is a custom built battery from Powerpool. Now I hit Paul up a while back for this one and approached him with with a figure and said, mate, I need to be able to support two air conditioners, microwave, big screen TV, induction cookers, kettles, a big list of stuff. And we came up with a number um, of 20 kilowatt hours. <laughs> this is huge. This is a 24 volt battery, 840 amp hours here. So that equates to just over 20 kilowatt hours. Um, it's huge. <laughs> so we've got the Multi Plus 2 24 volt 5000 VA inverter charger. It's got 120 amp mains charger on that, so that's gonna charge this at warp speed when he plugs in the mains. We're running two of the Victron 150 smart solar controllers to cover the huge amount of solar that we got on the roof of this. Now this roof was, even though it's big, it was a bit tricky to get the solar up because we had a lot of shading issues with the air conditioners and some of the uh, antennas. But, but we managed to squeeze 2,000 watts on the roof of this, 2,000 watts. Now we're nearly in the middle of winter at the moment. And I just hit 1,100 watts. I'm really happy to get that out of a wintry day when the sun is behind a tree. Um, this thing is gonna yield some big power, like huge. The good thing about running this um, with the split solar controllers is because I've got the two separate arrays on the roof, um, all of them are feeding into each controller um, on the separate arrays. It can take more power because of the 24 volt, just in case you guys didn't know about that. So they're about, I think it's about 1400 watts per solar controller maximum. Um, we know we're near that, that would be 2800 watts. We're at about 2000. So I've only got a thousand going into each controller here. Um, and at 24 volts, that's still, still well within the range of these controllers. So they're not even gonna work hard at all. Um, We've gone for vehicle charging in this. Now, the original setup was to have the Victron buck booster, the 100 amp buck booster, but they're very, very hard to get at the moment. Um, they're in short supply. So we've settled on something different. Came in a little bit cheaper for old mate, but it was the only solution that we could give him um, in, in the short period that we had to get him in. And we went for two of the Enerdrive um, 24 volt, 30 amp DC to DC charge, so two of them. So that's 60 amps at 24 volts. So if you were to convert that to 12, that's 120 amps of charge. Um, just so you guys can understand it. So this is pumping in 60 amps at 24 volts from the alternator, um, which can take it to 250 amp alternator. That, no, those numbers are there for him to be able to run both air conditioners at the same time while he's driving if he wanted to, and still charge from solar and the alternator. He's gonna have that much charge coming into this thing. It's, it's, it's absolutely ludicrous. So happy days there. Um, we've gone for a very big, big bus sort of setup with this. Um, hard to see, it's kind of down the back. A lot of the negatives on this so back where the shunt is i had to bring everything into one sort of location and the outcome is just perfect so this is paul's battery once again it's running the daily bms um i've been running daily bms's for pff, over 10 years i've never had a problem with them he's added the active balancer on this so it's got a larger um, active balancer in this and um, i think the daily's only got a small 
balancing system on it and the Helltech balance of that poor with fitting this battery will keep all these cells like uniform all the way right up to 100% state of charge. And he's already done a few test cycles just as I have and we're getting like hunky-dory results out of it. So there it is guys, it looks, um, it looks simple and that's my goal, it has to look simple but this has taken a fair amount of time, a couple of days, me on my knees in this spot here. So just to recap guys, 2000 watts of solar, 24 volt battery with 840 amp hours or 20 kilowatt hours of battery lithium storage, custom made from PowerPole. Got the Victron Multi Plus 2, 5000, 24 volt, 120 amp mains charger inverter running on all of the outlets for the air conditioner, all the factory outlets, two air conditioners, induction cookers, coffee machines, big screen TVs, full stereo sound system in this thing, anywhere he wants to go. Big washing machine there. Um, he's running a Dometic freezer fridge outside off this thing as well. It doesn't even make a dent out of it. Got the two and a drive 24 volt DC chargers in sync. It's all monitored up on the Servo GX with the Touch 70 on this one, going for the large screen, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, we are in a caravan park. I'll put the drone up real quick. Got a lot of trees around me, but let's hope it don't crash. I'll put those, um, those photos up for you guys to see. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop me an email, give me a call info at extremeacc.com.au if you want any information on this setup and or a custom made battery from Paul. We don't sell anything guys, we never have. We don't sell direct to the public. We just encourage you to just buy the good quality stuff. Um, but if you guys want a setup from me, supply and fit, just hit me up because then all the, all the stuff's done by me. I design the system from point A to point B and you'll get a good system like this one here. And these guys are what I call off grid. like big off-grid these guys won't have any power issues this is this is huge so enjoy all right guys so we're we're free camping at the moment and it is like i said near winter so check out the solar it did hit 1100 watts before that's nearly 600 watts so happy days there i'm in like shade with dappled light through all these gum trees that are around us i haven't mounted this yet because old mate's going to do a lot of work on this fridge he's um getting rid of the 12 volt compressor fridge and he's going for a inverter AC fridge like the LG or the Samsung and it's a great move if you've got the space to do it and a lot of you guys already do it with coasters and big motorhomes and you've got an inverter on the system even a small inverter happy days running a 10-year warranty mains powered fridge from an inverter it's just the way to go and they really love um, you know power like they're very leaning on power so they're not going to draw crazy amounts they're very efficient so happy days there um, sun's starting to poke out again I did hit 1100 let's see what we can get out of it well, 1160, 1200, that's not bad. You can still see it there. But take note of the AC loads. I'm only running one of these Gree air conditioners on this. Now, it's running on heat, all right? It's crazy cold here in Adelaide. I've got it on 28, if you can see that. That's running on 28. And it, it's, there, there's the load. So 1100 watts, all right? So 1100 watts there. I'll flip it around so you can see it. That's pretty much bang on. When it cycles off, obviously it drops right off, then it cuts back in. It's not a, um, an inverter style AC, but that just goes to show what the reverse cycle air conditioners draw when heating. They're always, they're always not as efficient. Now I've had these grease um, running on cold 16 flat out, and I think I saw it was around the 800 watt mark, which isn't too bad. And you compare that to the Harrier Lights, Harrier Pluses, and all the, the Truma Adventures, and it's pretty much around the same. Um, but because those inverter style ACs really ramp down, you can get them to draw a very minimal amount of power. But hey, we're running this because there's that much power, guys, so why not? And there's two of these things on the roof, so happy days there. And as you can see behind me, big screen TV, got a massive satellite system on this. There's a massive Bose, like top of the range Bose sound system in this thing. It sounds awesome. And these guys are set up. So the touchscreen here is You've all seen it. This is the Touch 70, so it's a little larger. I'm, I'm a big fan of it if you've got the space for it. And obviously the screen is backlit and it's the timer will time off it so it's not so bright when you don't need it. But that's the screen I like to leave it on. It is easy for anyone to read. You can see what we're pulling. You can see the solar yield. You can see your power at DC and you can see where the power is going. Take note here, so that means we are off grid. We are not pulling any power from the grid. We are completely from batteries. You can follow it to see where the power is going right there. 
Obviously, if you were to touch it and go into it, you're going to see a little bit more information. Not bad for nearly the middle of winter. Wow.